Hey, my legion, how y'all doing today? I wanted to do a video uh, thanking everybody and telling everyone that probably starting a YouTube channel was probably one of the greatest things I've done in my later years of life. One of the best things I've done. And I'll tell you why. Um, I started learning about YouTube a long time ago. And this is before I didn't get... I had a used computer... I got used to put it in 2010, but I did not get internet because it was just another bill to pay. And I was always fighting enough with my dad about the computer being out there. And it was a huge computer, so I couldn't put it in my room because we have limited space. And he was always outside all watching football and baseball, so I couldn't always hear because uh, the headphone set didn't work in the used computer that well. Uh, well, anyways, this was before that. I first heard about YouTube, I remember, uh, on Tonight Show with Jay Leno. And that's back when Kevin Eubanks used to be on there and he, you know, sitting down playing guitar and they were talking about YouTube and like the videos and stuff like that, including like, uh, Charlie bit me with that little kid biting the finger, which is a very popular video on YouTube. And I found out about that. I said, I wanted to check these videos out. And, uh, next time I was at my sister, I started watching YouTube, watching that. And, uh, along with other stuff like watching music videos and neat stuff like that. And uh, when I was all my sister, I, I usually would do that. And I was thinking, like, it would be cool to upload videos. Or, I mean, not at that time. I was thinking of uploading videos. But I was thinking my sister had uh, the ability. She could upload videos. Because she was going out with a guy named David Kiger. And I there was a video they shot of uh, them riding motorized scooters. And she showed the video. She thought it was funny, him riding it. I said, maybe you can put it on YouTube. She said, I don't want to do that. I don't know how to do that. So she never did. And, uh, they had some on Nightline about YouTube, like Charlie bit me, and they talk about how it became a big phenomenon. They were making money in merchandise. So I was like, boy, that'd be, I was like, boy, that'd be something to get into, you know. And around that time, Joey was seeing someone else, and she got married to Roland. And uh, he did a he had a channel called Clad in Black, and he released one video. It was Hellraiser Five or something like that, where. My sister, uh, he had a pinhead mask. And my sister had a friend that she brought over. And I guess Roland was hiding behind the couch. My niece was looking over. And Joey's like, boy, she's going to give the joke away. And they filmed it. I don't know they secretly filmed it. They were, uh, my sister and her friend were talking there. And all of a sudden, Roland goes, Rah! like that. Behind, and she starts screaming her head off. And that was the whole video. And I think I had like... Last time we looked, it had like a th over a thousand views or something like that. This was a long, long time ago. 2009, I think. And I always thought it was kind of neat. You know, maybe I should start my own channel. I don't know. And I remember getting a used computer from Roland at 2010. And I got a camera. Like I said, I did not get internet because we had that right uh, in the kitchen. And I was fighting with my dad already enough about the computer because he hated it. He always said, I wouldn't have a computer shoved up my ass. You know, at, at reunions. Family reunions and stuff like that. I think it's the most worthless thing ever. And uh, he just says, it's just a toy. It's just a toy. Well, anyways, you know, I had it hooked up with music and stuff. I couldn't really listen to music as much as I would like to because Dad was always out there. And, like, the thing with the headphone did not work with a headset. Anyways, I got that. I got, like, a little camera, a Mustang camera. And I, I used to make film stuff on there, I found out how to put it to the computer and upload movies. Uh, and upload the videos and then editing. And I did a couple of videos like the Albion Fair. Well, I did like Old Fashioned Days Film 2011. That's how old this was. And I uh, I was always curious to people who did have YouTube channel and upload videos. Because one guy at work said he uploaded some video of him and some friend sing a song. And overnight, he woke up and had like 600 views, and he got freaked out, and he deleted it. And I asked, uh, I had a way that I could copy stuff on CDs, and I was, uh, or DVDs. I asked if you could put, like, one of my videos on uh, your YouTube channel so at least people could see it and see what happens. They said, okay. And I did, and he never did it. And then my friend Ryan Platts, in 2010, I think, He had a channel called Facts Leaves Its Ghost. And uh, I sent him the video and he said that he'd probably have to 
split it into two parts. I mean, you had to be... It took a while for you to upload... Because it, it was a half-hour video. It took a while for you to upload a video that was more than 15 minutes. And uh, he did in two different parts. And then I was curious to see... And then he gave me the numbers. He fudged the numbers. They didn't get very many views for a while. And they did only okay. That was the only video he had on his channel. And then uh, that used computer eventually in like in the summer of 2012... You know, eventually stopped working. And then I, I got a used computer from this one friend of mine. In 2013, I decided, what the heck, I'm going to get internet and uh, start my own YouTube channel. And that was slow going at first, because I didn't do like the videos like I do now. And I, I, I figured it out, you know, and I did some test videos, and then I started my own channel. and did I started my channel sometime in January 2013. And it was a slow progression. And then eventually in the summer 2013, I started doing move more. I started doing food reviews because I found out, you know, my Trav, you know, was doing that. He was doing all right for himself. I mean, for somewhat success. So I thought, why not? Yeah, I've been doing it ever since. And then whenever I got, but the biggest problem was uh, my internet was crappy. I had windstream and they were awful. And, uh, but I was locked into a contract. And it's like, if you break your contract, you had to pay like 300 bucks or something like that. And it, but however, it was for phone internet, internet. And, uh, I had unlimited long distance, which was great. So that was a bonus right there. Because before I had that, I had phone and then I had to pay long distance charges. You know, for calls and stuff. And it wasn't much of a difference uh, price-wise, but the internet service was lousy. It was slower than hell. Because I said I was just going to upload videos and uh, play video games, and it was like, yeah. And then after uh, the passing of my dad, I started making some changes. And then like in September 2015 or something like that, I made a... I, canceled Windstream and did a bundling deal with uh, Time Warner at the time. Now it's Spectrum. And I had much faster internet. And after that, I was like, maybe I can up, may I do more videos. Because I was, I was still doing a decent amount, but nowhere near like I am now. But I tried to not do as many on, uh, on work nights and stuff like that. You know what I mean? I only have so much time. And uh, the one thing I found, especially after... Well, even before the past of my dad, uh, YouTube gave me a voice. Because a lot of times I want to express my thoughts or feelings about a certain subject. And YouTube gives me that voice. And I really enjoy talking to all of you. I love you all very much. You know, I appreciate all the kindness you've shown me. And uh, yeah, I think YouTube is probably one of the best things I've done. Uh you know, it's like, I mean, kind of like, everyone wants to kind of, I don't know, some people like to entertain or get their thoughts out or make videos and stuff and hopefully do well. And that's me. Uh, I really enjoy what I do. And I'm glad that most of you enjoy it as well. Um, I think I, it just gives me a voice. And sometimes I have like an idea in my head. And I keep thinking about, thinking about, thinking about, and then when I finally put a video, I don't think about it anymore. And it gives me that voice. It gives me the clarity. It gives me, um, it keeps me company, you know, whenever I'm home by myself. You know, I have the cat, but all you give me company. And I love you all very much. It's really neat to see how well the pro channel has progressed. You know, it, it can always go... It, it can only always be better, but I mean, I'm very happy with with the way my channel's gone. I think it's probably one of the most important things I've done in my later years. And it's a way to leave like a legacy. You got all these videos, and my one goal was always to have like a library where you could Google an item and maybe the item you see is something I did, you know? Because I've had people meet me, by, uh, find out about me, like Trudy. Found out about me because she was asking, she was curious about that three pepper sauce from uh, Arby's. 
And she looked, Googled it, and my video came up, my review of it. You know, and there were like, I found about this guy, Patrick Barton, a long time. He Googled something, and my video came out. Now, I haven't talked to Patrick Barton in a long time. He had a channel, but I don't know if he's still friends with me or not. But sometimes you do lose friends, uh, you know, doing videos and stuff like that. It's just weird the way YouTube is. And sometimes, you know, because I didn't have get Facebook right away. Sometimes Facebook, chatting on Facebook, sometimes you might misinterpret something, you know. And the way Facebook is now is like, I don't know. But, um... I, I'm very happy with what I've been done so far. And I'm very happy with the, all the kindness you've all shown me. I think this, like I said, I think this is one of the best things I've ever done, especially my later years. I, it's a good way to express yourself and get and have a voice. And there, if you had, don't agree with something, you can always do a video about it. You know, and by now, as uh, people complain about YouTube, now YouTube's made it tougher for different things. You know, you have to be careful what you say. But just try to, you know, just try to keep it PG rated, which I always try to do. And I hope you like this video, everybody. And uh, I just want to tell you about this. I say thank you for all your support. I really appreciate it. And until next time, bye, please. To Camera Legion. Yiggy. Thank you very much, Ed T. I went to uh, Wildwoods uh, Saturday night. I didn't order anything. I didn't do a... Uh, a food review from uh, Crossroads on Saturday night because they had a band that was so loud you couldn't even talk. And like I said, the bars were pretty much crowded. I didn't order anything there, but we did go to Wildwoods order some stuff. And I used uh, your gift card. This is one of the things I got while I was at Wildwoods. I, I mean, it was a lot. I, I didn't finish it, but... I want to thank you, Ed T. And I really appreciate everyone's generosity, too. That's another thing. I, you find out the good and the, and the bad with people on the internet, too. So, I hope you like this video, everybody. Until next time, take care.